Welcome to NextStar TV. My name is Emily and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 29 Standard Mail Merge. In this video, I'll show you how to do a mail merge in Word 2010 without using a wizard. Okay, so today's lesson is also on mail merge, but today we're going to do our mail merge without the use of the wizard. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come up to Mailings and come over to Start Mail Merge. And instead of choosing the wizard, you're going to see that you have options of what type of document you're starting with. So you can do a letter, an email message, an envelope, a label, or a directory. So since we've already done a letter, let's show you what labels would look like. And when you click labels, you'll see that your label options box will come up. And you're able to choose what brand of label you have and your product number. So you just click the OK button and you'll notice that you have a label sheet that you're working with. So the next step is to select recipients. So you'll click this drop down arrow and much like before we have the choice of creating a new list, using an existing list, or selecting from Outlook context. We're going to use an existing list and we'll select it, click open, and again it's the same situation where we can choose whichever sheet our contacts are in. So once we have our list selected, we have the choice of editing and adjusting our list. So to do this, you can go to Edit Recipient List. You'll click it, and you'll see your list of recipients. So if you don't want all of these people included in your list, you can unselect them, and they won't show up in your mail merge. Now I know that our list is rather small, but I want to show you some sorting and filtering techniques in case you have a very large bulk mailing list. So the first thing I want to show you is how to sort your records. So if you click the sort link, you'll choose this drop down arrow and you can select whatever field you want. So you can choose to sort by your last name uh, or your zip code and we'll just click zip code. And then you can either sort in ascending or descending order. So we'll do ascending. And then if you come over to zip code, you'll see that your records have now been reorganized. Now another way you can do this is you can come over to any of these fields and click the drop down arrow and you have the choice to sort by ascending or descending as well. The next thing I want to show you is, is how to filter some of your records. Now if you're using a list that wasn't created specifically for your mail merge, you might need to filter out some records. So to do this, you'll come down to the filter link, you'll click it, and you'll choose the field that you want to filter by. So say you only want to send your mailing to people that live in Pittsburgh, you would search for your city field, you would make it equal to, but you'll see that you'll also have other options such as not equal to or less than or greater than. But for us, we want people in Pittsburgh, so we'll say equal to. And then you'll just type Pittsburgh. And you can keep doing this and adding different fields that you want to, um, to make it more specific to your needs. But so we'll just click OK. You'll see that any record that didn't have the city of Pittsburgh listed will be filtered out. Another handy tool is the ability to filter out duplicates. So to do this, all you need to do is click the Find Duplicates list. And this would run a search to look for duplicates, and it will pull up any duplicate entries that you have or any entries that are very similar in nature. Um, in our list, we didn't happen to have any duplicates, so we'll just click OK. Again, if you have a very large list, it might be hard to individually search for a specific record. So to do this, you can find you can use the find recipient feature and you can just search for a recipient that you're looking for. So you can just type in green if you're looking for Molly Green. And we'll choose that it's her last name and we'll click find. And you see that it'll automatically go to that record. Another filter that's really handy is being able to filter out blank fields. So say you have someone's name but you don't have their address, you can filter them out by using the blank sort so that way you don't print a blank address for the person. So to do this, uh, you could go to whatever field you want to make sure you don't have um, blank and you can just sort it by either blanks or non-blanks and then this would pull up any uh, records that don't have an address and you can just unselect them so they won't be included in your mail merge. So once you're done making all your edits you'll just click OK and then we'll move over to the write and insert fields. So you see this is very similar to what we were working with in the mail merge wizard. You have um, pre-created word fields for you. You can use your address block or your greeting line 
and it will pull up the dialog box which we've already seen. Or you can pull up your insert mail merge field and you can choose between all the fields in your record. So we'll insert a few fields and we'll click close and then you can space and adjust your fields as you need. And since we're doing labels and you want to have a label in each one of these fields, the next thing you'll press is update labels. And you'll see it just duplicates all the fields you made in all the different label slots. We'll then click preview results and you'll see a preview of your sheets of labels. And if you had multiple pages you could navigate through here and then your last step would be finish and merge. And then just like in our mail merge wizard, we have the option of edit individual documents, print documents, or send emails. So the thing you want to keep in mind when you're doing your mail merge, even if you're not doing it through the mail merge wizard, is that you're still walking through the same steps. So you're going to start your mail merge, write and insert your fields, preview results, and finish your merge. So Word still walks you through the process actually in this ribbon um, from left to right. So if you start to get tripped up, you'll just want to keep following the steps left to right. Thank you for joining Nextara TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 29 Standard Mail Merge. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.